。好，第三十第三十一條咧就係形容呢一個 set up 嘅。咁咧 set up 咧就有兩個 bell jar， 咁啊大家咧互相對住，而中間咧就夾住咗塊葉嘅。而喺兩個 bell jar 入面咧，亦都擺咗一啲 chemical X 咧，就攞嚟吸咗啲水蒸氣嘅。成個 set up 咧都係 air tight， 即係唔會有空氣嘅進出㗎啦，已經。咁所以啦，喺呢個 bell jar 入面嘅 chemical X 咧，同呢個 bell jar 入面嘅 chemical X 咧，佢哋就分別對應住葉面同埋葉。底嘅部分啦，然後成個實驗咧就玩五個鐘，然後 Chemical X 咧再睇下佢嘅重量咧有冇變化嘅。成條題目去考我哋嘅咧，第一樣嘢，究竟呢個實驗做乜鬼？其實成個實驗咧就係想睇下塊葉嘅失水速度嘅。而 Chemical X 咧題目講俾你聽嘅，佢係攞嚟吸咗啲 water vapor， 所以當佢吸收咗啲水蒸氣之後咧，其實佢嘅重量咧就會增加咗啦。而對於個 set up 咧，最重要嘅就係點解要擺啲 Chemical X？ 一個喺葉面嘅部分，一個葉底嘅部分啦，其實就係想去量度翻喺葉面嘅失水同埋葉底嘅失水啦。成個實驗其實説穿了就係咁樣做。咁啊 ，calculation 咧計定先嘅啫，未用住嘅。咁我哋就發現啦，喺葉面嘅 chemical X 咧，佢增加咗零點零九個 gram， 而喺葉底嘅 chemical X 咧，佢增加咗零點一三個 gram。第三十條就問啦 ，chemical X 佢嘅質量轉變啊，主要係因為咩原因呢？咧題目好抵死嘅，今次佢問你 change 啊，其實。呃、如果換算成一個短題目嘅話咧，你要話俾我聽個 change 點樣樣。今次兩個嘅 change 咧，都係屬於 increase 嘅。咁但係點樣都好啦，總之係改變啦。佢問你啦，點解？好，咁就逐一擊破啦。A 佢就話啦，因為棵植物吸水，所以咧個 chemical X 咧個重量就改變咗啦。咁當然啦，棵植物吸水咧係基於佢嘅失水。其實吸水係條根去吸噶嘛，關兩個 chemical X 咩事咧？其實就好隔涉嘅，所以 A 咧就唔關事啦。跟住到 B 啦，就係因為棵植物失水，呢、这個呢就係原因啦。因為個葉面、葉底都會失水，而失出嚟嘅 water vapor 呢就會俾個 chemical X 咧吸咗去。咁所以啦 ，B 就係答案啦。C 呢就話啦，棵植物呢透過呼吸作用所產生出嚟嘅水，但其實啲水呢 m i n l y 呢都仲喺個植物細胞入面嘅，所以又唔關佢事啦。咁 D 呢就仲誇張，佢話啲水呢喺光合作用嗰處呢就用咗去，所以呢就搞到 chemical X 咧個重量改變咗。咁但係你都要知道啦，如果啲水係用咗嘅話啦。Chemical X 咧，應該佢個重量係輕咗先真啊嘛，咁所以你會發現咧條題目咧真係咁黑人憎咧係有原因嘅，佢特登就唔話俾你聽係 increase， 就會淨係話俾你聽係改變嚇、啊，總係有同學計錯數噶嘛，係嘛？就唔係將 final 減 initial， 將 initial 減 final， 哎呀咁咪 decrease 咯兩常 ，decrease 你咪減咗 D 咯。揀咗啲你咪錯咯。Question thirty and thirty one refer to the setup below. The setup consists of two bell jars placed one above the other with the leaf of a pot or plant in between. Bell jar number one and bell jar number two, and in between there is a leaf. And chemical X was placed into the jar to absorb water vapor. The whole setup was made airtight, so that's why no air can go in or out. And then finally, the mass of the chemical X in the two jar were measured at the beginning and after the five hours. So for the Whole setup. The concept checking is that we need to determine what is the aim of the investigation. Actually, the aim of the investigation is to investigate the rate of the transpiration from the leaves. Based on the function of chemical X, it can absorb the water vapor. After absorption of the water vapor, the mass of the chemical X will increase, and then we can take a look at the initial and the final mass. The mass is really increasing, and then we have to realize the position of the chemical X. One is on the side of the upper surface of the leaf, and the other is on the side of the lower surface of the leaf. So what does it mean? So the chemical X on the side of the upper surface of the leaf, it can absorb the water vapor released from the upper surface of the leaf, and The chemical X on the side of the lower surface of the leaf, it can absorb the water vapor lost from the lower surface of the leaf. So finally, we do the calculation. In this time, I just tell you the number because we shall use these numbers in the next question. So the question thirty is asking the change in the mass of the chemical X was mainly caused by the following reason. So you can see that. The tricky point of this question is asking the change in the mass of the chemical X. So if we change this MC question to be a short question, you need to tell me that the mass of the chemical X increases. So and then we we phrase the question: the increase in mass chemical X was mainly caused by. 
Option A, water uptake by the plant. Of course, what we learn is that transpiration pool is generated by the transpiration. That means the water loss. However, water uptake takes place in the root. So that's why it's a bit far away from the chemical X. So that's why A is not the answer. And B is the answer, water loss in the transpiration. So when there is a water loss in the form of the water vapor, so the chemical X will absorb the water vapor and then the mass will increase. So that's why B is the answer. And for option B, water produced in the respiration. Of course, respiration can produce water. However, the water mainly retained in the plant. So can they increase the mass of the chemical X? Maybe, but it is not the main cause. So that's why C is wrong. And for the option D, water consumed by the photosynthesis. So if this were the correct answer, the mass of the chemical X would decrease. However, we can see that the mass of the chemical X increases. So that's why D is also wrong. And then you can see that why the question give you the change in the mass of the chemical X rather than give you the exact change, which is the increase in the question. Because some of the students, they do not know how to calculate the answer. They will just use the initial mass minus the final mass. And then they will get the minus 0 0.13 gram or minus 0 0.09 gram. So it's really the decrease in the mass of chemical X, Mr. Leung. So that's why I will choose D. Okay, so you are wrong.